within is unsettled. Each moment brings a new surge. Your companions sleep like blissful lumps of meat. Ah, she thinks she is finally away from the monsters. <laughs> Poor fool. You could do so much better, my lord. I won't lay so much as a talon on her. I wouldn't rob you of that delight. Your clever mind is penning tragedy as we speak. Your repressed urge yearns to kill. And kill you will. Tonight, the moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. It is precisely because you didn't touch her that you are insatiable. Your dark urge will have death, one way or another, tonight. She's as good as dead anyway. She won't be saved by the power of love, not yours. Whisper it while you twist a knife. <sighs> or have a love confession be the final words between you. <sighs> it is my duty to ensure you are making the right decisions, Master. There was much uh, disappointment at your reluctance to kill the little moon maiden. You could kill this one deliberately. I'm sure it will be considered a great show of goodwill. The tithe could still be yours. I do not doubt you will act with a decorum befitting one of your rank. Good night, sweet lord. Your companion rests blissfully, without a fear in the world. As your hand approaches her body, it wavers. It longs to close around her throat. Did you have a bad dream? You look like hell. What's wrong? Tell me what to do, and it's done. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. whether I can stop you. I wouldn't worry about that. But why didn't you tell me before? I could have helped you sooner, like you've helped me. Maybe then Althea would still be here. But we're here now, and we're going to fix this. Suddenly you become drowsy. Your vision blurs and floods with yellow bile. And you faint in a dizzy blur. You are not yourself. All control is gone. Attention, soldier. You do not have permission to freak the fuck out right now. You can 
do this. I've got you, and I'm not letting you go. when we both survived the night. The night passes sick and sweating, but bloodlessly. You once again inhabit your own mind. Here we are, both on Alfered. That you in there, love? We'll get through this together. I'll protect us. And we'll skip through fate like two truants on the beach at midday. We'll get through this. <laughs> like two roaches in an apocalypse mine, but still. You sure keep me on my toes, don't you? That's why I keep you around. Surely it is preposterous anything else would happen tonight. You return to your bedroll and sleep like the dead. Regrettably, the corpse before you is not your only company on this dark night. Footsteps approach. Not your butler, come to celebrate this splendid deed. But the others, woken by your happy laughter. Or the sound of knife on bone. You've spilled blood in our camp before. This will be the last time. Nothing but another parasite to be crushed. If that is a reprobate, you are holding on to your arrow. But if I didn't make it clear before, I think you can beat this. Just don't give in. And seek help if you... I'm sorry. It might be better you are worried about this killing lurch I, I will try to help you resist but spill a single drop of my blood and yours will flow in a gusher fear in the world as soon as you raise the dagger all doubts disappear from your mind replaced by pure pleasure this is far more thrilling than your nights together ever could be. In the heat of the night, those last gasps are those of disappointment. With almost no struggle, she has gone out like a light. There is a beautiful blush on her cheeks that was never there while she was alive. You drink in the sight until the dawn. Regrettably, the corpse before you is not your own, not your butler, come to celebrate this splendid deed. But the others, woken by your happy laughter, or the sound of knife on bone. You've spilled blood in our camp before. This will be the last time. If you believe that, your mind is a playhouse for fiends and foul nightmares. If you don't, you are Sherlock, purveyor of insidious deception. Vince! 
imagine it should be a trifling matter to kill this one. She's as good as dead anyway. She won't be saved by the power of love. Not yours. Why not whisper it while you twist? There was much uh, disappointment at your reluctance to kill the little moon. You could kill this one deliberately. I'm sure it will be considered a great show of goodwill. The tithe could still be yours. I do not doubt you will act with a decorum befitting one of your rank. Good night, sweet lord. Your companion rests blissfully, without a fear in the 